Hello guys, Tizio here, and welcome to a new video. Finally, Eko's awakening has hit global, and she's amazing as I thought she would be. Her HP reg and skill combined with her crystal 58 passive boosts all the party's attack and maximum brave up to 60%, and that's without counting. For example, self is aura buffs and lilizettes. Smite has become incredibly powerful, she can shave a lot, and battery all the team, and deal an HP attack all at once. Not only her skills have been improved drastically, she now has both a brave plus and HP plus attack. The first one makes her last a lot more during fights, as she can battery the team a good amount of brave, while dealing a light element brave attack, and her HP plus attack recovers a little bit of all the party's HP. She's definitely one of the best support characters you can find at the moment, so if possible, you should definitely pull for her, or either buy her 15 or 35 CP weapons from the power token shop. Now, let's get to the strategy I used. To be honest, it's more or less the same as the non-X stage, but you have to play way more aggressively, because otherwise Ultima or the Golem will kill you. During the first wave, don't be afraid of Ultima starting first. As far as I know, she will never deal an HP attack during her second turn. So you can easily shave her brave with both Toy Soldier and Smite. If the turn order isn't good, unfortunately, you might have to reset. As you know, Ultima likes to boost up his defense and deal massive brave damage to all allies, so that you will have no chance of shaving her brave and will kill one of you characters on the next turn. This happens when she reaches a certain percentage of HP, and at that point, you won't be able to deal any damage at all. What you will have to do, is kill her, as soon as you can, and use carefully Lael's energy gains. You might find yourself using even 3 energy gains, just for the first fight, but don't worry, it's normal. This is the right moment to use them, but remember to use them carefully. If you manage to break her, after using energy gain, that will be even better because she will get delayed by 2 turns, making the fight way easier. There's not much else I can say about this fight, so I'll see you on the second wave. Personally, I found this golem to be the most annoying enemy of these heretics, not only because he delays your characters with every attack he does, he will also regen his HP for about 15,000 per turn, which is a lot. So, as you can imagine, you will have to speedrun through this wave as well, and use, if possible, just 2 energy gains, but well executed. Kate is a monster here, he will deal a lot of brave damage to the golem, so if you plan on using Toy Soldier, do it when you're not already capped on maximum brave, because you will surely cap even with the overflow. It's recommended to use Toy Soldier when Kate has more or less 50% of his maximum brave to use his skill at full potential. Of course do this only when he's resistant to magical attacks and not when he's resistant to physical ones, because in that case, you'll need to have you brave at maximum to use Toy Soldier efficiently. Keep up. 
You have probably noticed how Lael has only one use left of energy gain, and we are just halfway through the stage. Don't worry, because the third won't last long at all. This is where you'll have to switch your Lael to the support one immediately after using force on all enemies. Once you've done that, wait for Kate to have a turn before Lael, and, at that point, use Pandemonium. Immediately use Mog Dance with Kate, and then start with Energy Gain Spam. You should be able to kill the Lamia for the end of the summon, and if not, she should be almost dead. At that point, the Lamia's turn will be delayed by a lot of turns thanks to Lael, so now you will have to focus your remaining Energy Gains to the Mannequins, and you won't have to worry about the Lamia reviving them, because her turn is far away now. And honestly, that's it for this wave. I don't have anything else to add, so I'll see you with the last boss. We are finally at the last boss, and honestly, this is the easiest part of the whole fight. This monster isn't too fast, or hits too hard, he's easy to kill, and doesn't do anything too dangerous. Just keep up your brave, and avoid getting broken, and remember to finish all of your skills here, to finish the fight as fast as possible.
みんなよろしゅういはい、ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。